If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, November 20th, 2012. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. Today in the Finis Monitor is Katinka Hosu, who just wrapped up a very successful six weeks traveling the world, competing in the FINA World Cup. She won 39 races and collected more than $60,000 in race winnings, in addition to winning the overall grand prize of $100,000. Katinka joins us now in the Finis Monitor from Baja, Hungary. Hi, Katinka. How are you today? Hi, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. You must be doing very well. We see that uh, large check behind you that they gave you for winning the FINA World Cup. Congratulations. Thank you. So uh, when, when they gave you that, obviously, you know, you had to bring it with you on the plane. Was that kind of a, a hassle to have that travel with you? <laughs> well, actually, uh, Shane brought it with us. I actually wanted to leave it at the hotel. I, I thought it was a little too big to carry, but... <laughs> I guess we, we were able to go through security, but they took it so for some special tests, <laughs> but they let it in. Well, that's very cool. So as we mentioned, you, you won about $160,000 in the World Cup over eight meets, six weeks. When you started this meet, when you had plans to swim in it, did you ever think you would cut, walk away with this much money? No, I actually never thought that I'm going to be able to win this many races. Uh, I actually just went to World Cups to do it as like training. Um, after the Olympics, I wanted to do something different, something more exciting than just being at home and training. So that's why I, I swam so many races and, and basically that was my training for, um, for the fall. Yeah, that's a lot of training. I think some of these meets you were swimming like seven, eight races. I mean, how do you get yourself to recover between each race when you got like 10, 15 minutes between? Uh, it was pretty tough, actually, but um, I think I learned a lot. Um, I tried not to think about my next race, although it was really hard not to think about that I for example, have another three races to go after my first one. Uh, but I think I, I learned a lot how to deal with it and how to get ready mentally for the next race in like 10 minutes. Uh, I just tried to think every time that I'm fresh and <laughs> try not to think about how much my legs hurt and such. Well, I, I would imagine swimming in college kind of helped you with that. I mean, some of the dual meets you would have to, at, when you were at USC, you'd have to do a, a lot of races where you'd have to do a lot of them back to back. Yeah, that definitely. That helped a lot. And um, same as NCAAs, uh, we had so many races, and you know, it was so so fast in the morning, and then we also had to get up and and really go for finals, and then we had all the relays to go and you know you can't get can't let your your teammates so you always had to do your best and yeah that definitely helped a lot. And I bet you it also helped that you had your Hungarian teammate Susanna Jakobus there with you kind of pushing you along the way a lot of those races did that was that a kind of a, a I guess a big motivator for you having her there with you? Yeah I mean it's all, all it's always good to to have Hungarians with me and um, you know, Lazlochka was there at the beginning um, for the first five stops, and um, Gergo Kish as well. So we had some Hungarians um, together, and it kind of felt like a little team, I guess. Um, but definitely, it was it was good to race her, and uh, I think we pushed each other definitely. Well, what what would you say was the biggest challenge for you to not only swim fast throughout all these meets, but kind of just keep your mental sanity as you're traveling around the world? Uh, I think the hardest part was actually traveling. Uh, I had some issues with my plane tickets uh, after like the third stop and uh, that was definitely hard and 
you know when you you realize like your your flight was cancelled or or it's delayed and you know that you only have one day to recover and then you have a race the next day and you are stuck at the airport it's kind of tough but um I was carrying my phone roller to and to the airport and tried to recover there and um it it was probably the toughest part of all the eight meets, which one would you say was the best one for you? Hmm, that's a good question. Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, in Dubai it was good because that was the first stop and I, I didn't actually think I will be able to swim that many races uh, that fast. And um, that definitely gave me a lot of self-esteem then. And, uh, Probably after that, I I really liked the Stockholm one. Um, I I was really happy with my times. Um, and then in Singapore, that was the end of it. So that's definitely that I will I will remember. Well, and and you remember getting the big check and knowing you're going to be taking <laughs> home all that money. Well, yeah. Uh, I actually after the meet, I I I I always felt a little bit tired and uh, always felt a little uh, sluggish and. Uh, after uh, after my last race in Singapore, I just got so so exhausted. I I could barely uh, keep my eyes open. So I was actually kind of not as excited as I thought I will be. But um, but but I definitely felt the next morning. I I was really excited. Well, not much rest for you. In a few days, you're going to be swimming in the European Championships, and then you're going to be going to World Championships. Correct? Yeah, that's that's correct. It's a uh, it's this fall has been a lot of racing and then after that what what are your plans for 2013 uh well for 2013 we are looking at uh barcelona uh long course world championships that's definitely going to be the goal to to swim the fastest there going through all of these world cup meets and and training to swim fast at Europeans and World Championships, what has that helped you do better as a swimmer? I think the World Cups were really good for basically practicing um, racing situations like like turns and, and starts, um, underwaters, breakouts, all these things that I you know, I can practice uh, doing training, but I'm not going as fast, and I'm I'm not just racing. I'm I'm in training mode. That's a little different. So every time I get really tired, I go back to my old turns that are really slow, and my my starts when I get tired, getting slower and slower. So so being uh, being in a racing situation and and, and practicing these uh, technical things are I think the most that that was really beneficial for me. How did your fourth place finish in the 400 IM at the Olympics uh, motivate you for what you've been able to do so far this fall? Uh, well, honestly, uh, my fourth place at the Olympics, um, I thought uh, I trained harder than uh, than a 4:33. Um, I was I was at the 4:32 in March already, long course. Uh, so I, I thought for the summer I'm gonna be be faster than that, and uh, that didn't actually come out. So uh, these World Cups I feel like give uh, a little more confidence in me um, after the Olympics. So uh, that definitely helped me to to look forward and um, and and keep training hard. And and I would imagine your goal now is to go faster than 4:32, maybe do that 4:30, which you know, it, with Yishi Wen and Elizabeth Beisel, um out there right now, it's probably what you're going to have to be going next year at Worlds. Yeah, I'm. I'm really looking forward to to swim some best times long course. So, I've been swimming pretty well short course, but um, the summers haven't been so good for me. So, I, I'm look. I'm looking forward to swim some best times long course. And uh, will you be coming back to Los Angeles to train with Dave Salo, or will you stay in Hungary for 2013? Uh, I'm, I feel like I'm going to be based out of Hungary. I feel like um, I need to represent Hungary and uh, be here, be in the media. I'm definitely going to be uh, going to a few training camps, but um, yeah, I'm going to be here. 
Well, I'm sure Hungary is going to be very happy to see you walking along the street. I guess you're kind of now their new national hero in a long line of big time national heroes in swimming. Yeah, uh, I think they are excited and, you know, uh, seeing all the little kids and uh, they are looking up to me, they, they definitely motivate me here. Well, that's great to hear, Katinka. Congratulations again on all your World Cup success. We'll be looking for you uh, at the Europeans and Worlds and uh, Short Course Worlds and then next year um, at World Championships. Thank you so much. All right, we'll see you down the road. Thank you. So that's Katinka Hosu, one of the uh, richest swimmers um, of 2012. And that's going to do it for today's morning swim show. Be sure to follow us at swimmingworld.com on Facebook or on Twitter for all the latest news. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.